some questions for you. We'll start with Mario Sacco from Channel 9. John, a great game tonight. Uh, you talked about balance with this basketball team. Is that more the Syracuse women's basketball team we're used to seeing tonight? Yes, and I was just talking to Emily before. I feel like every interview, you know, I have, I just always say that everyone has to contribute for us to be successful. And like you saw tonight, everyone did what they like were good at pretty much like Priscilla, you know, she was rebounding. I was being more aggressive on offense. Emily was running the floor really well, rebounding score. Like, I just feel like when everyone's playing well, we win. And we just have to make sure that we keep that mentality going into Sunday. Good luck, Sunday. Thanks. Thanks, Tiana. Next, we'll go to Roshan Fernandez from the Daily Iron. Uh, hi, Tiana. So I know the first time you guys played Boston College, you guys were driving inside in the paint a lot, um, and that's where a lot of the success came from. Was that the game plan tonight, too? Yeah, Coach told us that before the game, like this morning in walkthrough, he told us that we scored like 50-something percent, maybe. I don't know what it was, but 50-something. I don't know if it was points or something in the paint. But um, we know that, obviously, Camilla is – one of the best in the country and obviously we want to give it to her every game but sometimes you know like I don't know what we were tonight if we did that a lot but if that's not working you know we have other players that can step up and contribute and that's I felt like that's what happened tonight I'm not sure if we passed it into her a lot but our game plan was pretty much just to play hard <laughs> and like as a team, you know, like everyone needs to be together and contribute. Thanks, Tiana. Next, we'll go to Patrick Gunn from 247 Sports. Hey, Tiana, congrats on the win. Um, the last couple of games, you've really struggled to get going in the first half. And this is the first time you scored 20 points in the first quarter since late January. So what was it? What was the energy like at the start of the game? And what was it like to just start scoring in the first half again? I mean, I feel like... I was talking to my family about this too because my brothers are very um they like to tell me what to do but um I just feel like I need to come out more aggressive I feel like I rely on other players to score a lot because I know how good they are and I know that they can and so I feel like sometimes I rely on that too much and then in the second half I'm like crap like we're down like I gotta so I feel like maybe I just need to be more like aggressive at the beginning of the game and can't like take what the defense gives me. Thanks, Tiana. Next we'll go to James Corrigan from Citrus TV. Hi, Tiana. Congrats on the performance. Now that, now that NC State is right on the horizon, uh, how do you deal with the emotions of the day, both with it being your last home game and it being the play for K game? How do you deal with those emotions and focus solely on the game? Well, I think my emotions will make me play better because I don't know, going into the game, I'm probably gonna cry a lot, like in before the warm up or whenever we get presented, you know, and like, I don't know, I just cry a lot and just be like thankful for everything that Syracuse has given me. Um, so I, but I think I'll use that in the game and it will make me be more aggressive, like I said, and like, it's my last game in the dorm, like ever. I'll be very emotional. So I'm just gonna use that in the game. <laughs> and uh, one quick follow-up about- uh, uh, James, I'm sorry, James, I'm sorry. We just have time tonight for one from everybody. Okay, thank you. Mike Curtis from Syracuse.com. Hey, Tiana, congrats on the win. Um, when you look at Emily and everything that she can do on offense, defense, um, she's a leading candidate for ACC Sixth Player of the Year, as well as Most Improved. Um, what have you seen from her um, as opposed to what you saw from her last season? Well, obviously her shape. Um, she's in phenomenal shape. I also feel like for me as a point guard, her running the floor really well, I think that helps put pressure on the defense in transition. She's always been a block shot up, block, shot blocker. And um, so 
She's always done that. She's always done most of the things that she does. I think she's just in so much better shape and it just looks and like, she probably just feels so much better. And yeah, sorry. Thank you. Thanks, Tiana. We'll go to Mark Larson. Tiana, uh, Coach Q was talking about how, how important this game was to you guys um, for the double fly. Uh, yeah. Next. Um, how much of a motivator was that for you guys? You really came out, you know, guns blazing. Was that it? or? Yeah, definitely. He had told us that, like, I don't know when he did, but it was, like, during the game in, like, a timeout. He was, like, come on, we really need this, like, for the double bye. And, like, we were all just, like, pumped. Like, we just wanted to go out there and smash them pretty much. So it did motivate us a lot. Thanks. Thanks, Tiana. We'll finish up with Thomas Schultz from the Daily Orange. Hey, Tiana, there was a point in the second half where you guys went to Emily Angsler on three straight possessions. What did you mm -hmm. see in her matchup tonight that you thought you could exploit throughout the game? Yeah, I think you're talking about in the post. Um, yeah, so, I mean, she's just a really great player. And we felt like she – could take her man one-on-one -on -one and score. So that was what we tried to do and it worked. So I guess like, you know, I don't know, that was our plan. Diana, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Congrats and we'll see you Sunday.